Welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel, Tranquil Stitches. Today is Monday, October 29th, 2018, and this is my floss tube episode number 30. Getting old. Chester says hey. He's got his Halloween costume on. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's had it on for months. But anyway, went and got my Halloween candy this past week and I've managed to stay out of it so far. I have. I'm, I, I'm praying for a lot of trick-or-treaters. Those last few are going to start are going to get handfuls because I'm not, I don't want that around. The holidays are coming up. It's going to be bad enough. Been cleaning and organizing, getting some things done, got summer clothes packed away and winter clothes brought out my sweaters and it's it's nice. Daylight savings time ends next Sunday, November 3rd. So I'm anxious to get that hour back. I need that hour. So my sister and I are going to get started on Peggy's place. My, my husband went to get the water turned on up there. And we're going to get started this week on getting that cleaned and organized and sterilized for, for our kids. Their little B&B &B for the holidays. So I'm excited to get up there and get started on that. We've my husband and I've talked, and we've also got some plans for me a craft area up there. So I'm very very excited to get started on that. He he's assured me that he can make it happen. So my fingers are crossed. I certainly hope so. But other than that, not much going on. I had a visitor this week, and I have a video at the end very very special visitor so be sure and hang around and check that out i have a couple shout outs that i wanted to mention a brand new floss tuber she's got two floss tubes out now and i really 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 suggest that you guys check her out her name is brenda and she is handwork maniac on floss tube i'll link her below she is a hawk run stitcher she has stitched three hawk run hollows and she's working on her fourth perfect we stitch a lot of the same things we've got a lot of the same interests so i am very very excited to have brenda join our foster family and so go over please and and show her some love and visit with her you will you will like her she's she's a very very sweet soul and the second shout out I have is for Linda, Linda Kleindest. Linda has been on FlossTube for a while. She has 10 videos out and she is stitching a beautiful Paula Vaughn, Rose of Sharon, beloved Rose of Sharon, I think, with the dress and the sewing machine and the quilt. It's just a beautiful um, whip that she's got going on and she, she also does some haids. Uh, she she does some full coverage pieces and she's working on several of those and she's just a joy to visit with so please go over and um, spend a little time with Linda too she she's really a sweet sweet lady real quick updates update this week because like I said I was just here on Thursday but I wanted to get back on track um, but I worked on my two twip stitching whips this um, this past few days. The first one is Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon Christmas. It's Colonial Gatherings Special Club from Dying to Stitch. And here's my progress on that one. When last we visited, I just had the top floor done and I've done this much on the bottom. So making really good progress. I love, 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 love this fabric. Love this fabric. It's so hard to put down when I get started because this fabric is just a dream to stitch on. So. It's something from Silk Weavers, I think, but I, I really, really like it. So I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, this project, so hopefully that'll be done soon. And I also worked some on my Monopoly. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of looking at this. I really do. <laughs> it's going to be gone shortly, I promise. But um, over the past few days, I got the three green properties filled in. Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Pacific. And there's the whole thing. 
So starting up that other side, I'll have that done in time for Christmas. I'd like to tell my son about my floss tube, so there's two reasons I want that done. Let's do some bingo words, shall we? This is for our ongoing Tranquil Stitches bingo, holiday bingo game. And I'm going to draw three more words, so check your lists and compare and see what, what we get this week. Number 16, Jolly. Number 16, Jolly. Number 30, Bells. Number 30 is Bells. And... The last one this for this week is number 12, Christmas tree. So number 12, Christmas tree, number 30, bells, and number 16, jolly. So that's the three watch for this week. Just a reminder, um, if you get bingo, please email bingo with the subject line to tranquilstitchesbingo at gmail.com so Virginia can check your words and compare them to what's being called. And the prize is a $25 gift certificate to the Cottage Needle from, um, from her Etsy store. So that's already, it's already ready for the winter. It's already ready already. So you get to do some shopping. So thank you to everyone who is playing that game. I hope you're enjoying yourself and checking your numbers, our mean letters. Words. <laughs> Use your words, Cheryl. <laughs> okay, last week I wanted to rehome some charts, and I failed to give this one away. This is a, the sim Simple Sampler from M Designs, and this one will go to Rural North Carolina Stitcher. Rural North Carolina Stitcher. So if you will email me, my email's below with your address. I'll be happy to get this off to you. She's a sweetheart. I've talked to her several times. Okay, I had this magazine, this Leisure Arts, October 1995, and this will go to Patricia Roberts, Patricia Roberts. I also had this kitchen leaflet by Leisure Arts, Linda Gilliam, and this one will go to Deborah Gossett, Deborah Gossett. Focus problem there. Then I had Garden Variety from Alma Lynn. And this one will go to Becky Godby. Becky Godby. So if you ladies will, like I said, email me your address and I will be happy to get those off to you this week. I have a couple other things I'd like to rehome this week and I have um, a drawing uh, to, to give away. So I have this 1988, October 1988 Leisure Arts Magazine and Inside, you'll find for the sportsman. It's got these cute little. They said they said this would happen. It's a deer, a duck, and a fish. And this pretty. That reminds me of a P. Buckley moss, but it's not. It's designed by Lynn Starosky. There's these little cacti. You like southwestern designs and there's also this one and these pretty fall you don't have to use them as bands if you don't want to but very pretty fall bands so that's October 1988 uh, magazine just say magazine okay this next one Wendy <clears throat> had two of them that she was she was putting, contributing to the giveaway table at the retreat. I asked her for one of them so that I could share it with you all because this chart to me brings back such memories. And I, I really wanted to share one of them with someone <clears throat> that who, who would like it. It's, it's from Stony Creek. Back in the early 2000s, you could not find this chart. This chart was highly, highly sought after. It went for big bucks on eBay. It was extremely hard to find. People were clamoring for it. 
They And there was even a fabric dyer who did an actual special fabric for this chart. <clears throat> Lots of hoopla surrounding this chart. In 2003, Stony Creek re-released it. <clears throat> so all of a sudden, all of that died down. And isn't that the way it goes? But when I, when I saw the chart, I knew that I, I just I just wanted one to share with you all. So I have mine. This is Noah's sub from Stony Creek. And I have one to share with one of you all. This chart is absolutely adorable. Isn't that precious? And I have seen it stitched up, and it is absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. The fabric that, that is was dyed especially for this, pa this pattern is gradiated with the different colors, just, li just like this to show the sunrise in the horizon. It's just beautiful. The artwork is from Stuart Moskowitz. So if you're interested in this chart, put down Noah's sub in your comment and tell me why. Tell me why you're interested in this. I want this to go to somebody who actually ha would have intentions of stitching it because I'm, I'm planning to stitch mine at some point. But if you're interested and you think that you might stitch this for your child or your grandchild, um, put a comment below and I'll do a drawing next week for that. Let me put mine over there so I don't get them mixed up. Okay, Rochelle at the Cottage Needle has shared a few things with me I've told you over the past few weeks, and um, I'd like to offer this Autumn Harvest Mill Hill kit. She sent me this, Rochelle at the Cottage Needle. If you've not been to the Cottage Needle on Etsy, go over and check her out. She's got lots and lots of good stuff and has excellent, excellent sales. But I would like to give this Mill Hill kit away. So if you're interested in the Mill Hill, just say um, Autumn Harvest in your comment. So I have the Autumn Harvest. I have Noah's Sub. And I have the October issue of Leisure, October 1988 issue of Leisure Arts. So that's the three giveaways I have for this week. I'd like to share with you all. Okay, this morning my husband went to the post office and brought me um, back a package, and I have to show I have to share this with you all, Miss Nancy. Nancy messaged me and she said I have a chart that I'd like to pass along to you if you're interested, and I I, I am interested. I really wanted it, so she sent she sent the chart, and I was just expecting the chart, but. She went a little above and beyond. I have to show you all this. Look at this card. This card was created using the ancient art of quilling in which small strips of paper are hand rolled, coiled, shaped, and individually placed to create a beautiful and detailed piece of art. Look at that. I'm framing this. Nancy, it's absolutely stunning. The cardinal is the West Virginia state bird. I am just in awe of this card. <laughs> I, I'm just, I mean, it's so, I love that. Thank you, Nancy. And this is the chart that she's shared with me. This is Bethlehem by Little House Needleworks. And she included the DMC to stitch it with. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so, so very much. I can't even. I, I, I'm just... Thank you. Okay, so my sweet, sweet friend, Virginia, she said, I have my mother's, one of my mother's brooch. 
what's the pearl plural brooch is it brooches it doesn't sound right but anyway she said I have I have one of my mother's pins and I wanted to know if you could make a needle minder out of it well you know I was going to make a needle minder out of my little planner enamel pin anyway and I said sure send it to me so I messaged Laura at Flying Frog Stitchery. She's my buddy. She, I love, Hi, Laura. <laughs> I messaged her and I said, okay, I need a little, little, little schooling here. What, what, do I, what do I get? She told me what to get. And she said, sure, I've got tons of magnets. Let me send you some magnets. And I said, okay, just, just send me an, enough to do three needle minders. So, of course, no, she's an overachiever. She sends me a stack this big. So I, I decided, okay, I, I got the glue, I got everything I needed, and I decided, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get these needle minders made. This was after I got back from retreat. So sat down one day to make these needle minders. You know, I'm leaving this to the professionals from now on. What an absolute ordeal. What an... I fit them magnets. You know, okay... She sent me this little thing that had, um, it was a necklace, and it had, it still had the jump ring on it. Well, instead of taking the jump ring off, I just left it, left it on there. And I put the glue on there, and I stuck that magnet on there, and the magnet proceeds to slide across the needle minder to get to that jump ring. And I'd slide it back and get it settled. And then it I check it in a second and it slide back over to get to that jump ring. Well, I couldn't find my beading pliers to get the jump ring off. And I, I was looking, and in the meantime, this magnet is making its way to that jump ring constantly. And I'm trying, I don't want it stuck to that jump ring, so I'm trying to keep it off of there. And I'm trying not to get this glue on my hands because if I get this glue, there's going to be. I, you know, I can't get the glue on my hands, so I, so, and I, I don't have any gloves, I don't have anything, you know, so I'm looking, I'm, I've got this magnet in my hand, holding that, holding the magnet on the back to keep it from moving, and I'm trying with one hand to find my beading pliers so I can get that stupid jump ring off of there, so the magnet will stay where it's supposed to be. Well, I finally found my pliers, and as I'm trying to pry that jump ring off of that button the magnet with my thumb on it slips and I get glue on my thumb so I have to set the whole thing down to get the glue off my thumb and when I come back to it the magnet has slid right back over there and stuck to that jump ring again so I'm telling you what's the truth I like to never got that jump ring off of that button it, it wasn't absolute comedy of errors if, if y'all were standing watching me you would have laughed until you peed your pants i'm serious it was it wasn't funny to me because i was irritated <laughs> but, but i finally got that jump ring off of there and i finally got that magnet stuck where it's supposed to be so i i do the next one her mama's brooch and I put that on there and then I also make mine this is my, this is the planner enamel pin my hubby smack, snapped that pin off and I put the magnet on here so I've got all three of them sitting there in the line and what do they do all three of them right in a big blob so I'm tr I can't separate the magnets because if I do, I, the one the magnet that's stuck with the glue is going to come apart from the glue, and then I'm going to have glue everywhere. So I literally had to just let the magnets dry in a big bundle all together, and the next day when I went to check them. The glue had dried and I was able to separate them. Never again. <laughs> Laura, I don't see how you do it. Honestly, I do not see how you do it. I, those are hateful things. I, I have never, you know, these magnets these days, these rare earth magnets, that 
they're not toys. <laughs> they're absolutely not toys. They're nothing to be played with. But anyway, yeah, that that was that was an, that was no more, no more, never again. Mm -mm. Laura, if I need a needle minder. But anyway, anyway, that's my that's my magnet adventure for the week. I don't have any bags this week because I've been making bags for some orders and some things, but I have uh, several cut out that I should have available for you next week. So, no bags, but I do have um, <clears throat> a video at the end. I took you on a ride along with me to the store and on the same route that I did back in the summer and um, for you to you to enjoy the leaves and see a little bit of the scenery. But if you want to stick around and watch that, you, you're welcome to do that. But that's all I have for you today, and I will be back with you. I have a stitch with me planned for this week, and then I will be back with you um, next Monday or Tuesday. I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween, and I will see you later. Happy stitching.